Hello, my name is Henry Enfrey, and this is a Godot 3D game development tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do projectiles. For example, if you're making a game and you want your character to shoot and you want to see the actual bullets move towards the enemy or whatever, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not going to be really concerned with showing you how to make the character move and all that other stuff because there are pr plenty of tutorials o all over the web and YouTube to show you how to do all that stuff. So in this tutorial I'm just going to stick with the basics and show you just how to make the character shoot projectiles. And then you can take what you learn in this tutorial and expand on it and make it better. So I'm just going to show you just how I do projectiles in my game. The first thing I'm going to do is create the player. So I'm going to change this to kinematic body and rename it player. Okay, next I'm going to set up a mesh instance. Okay, I'm going to make this a cylinder. Okay, so we got our player. And I just named this for convention, I just name it. And then, final thing, I'm going to add a position 3D. Okay, so that's our player. Save that. Player.tscn, that's good enough. Okay, so now we're going to make a bullet. 3D. Let's change this to area. And then, change it to bullet. Then get a mesh instance, and then and then you can add a collision shape to this uh, the mesh instance if you want to. Uh, and I make that a sphere too. Okay, so we got our we got our bullet and collision shape here, and then we're going to save that. Bullets TSCN is good enough. And finally, we're going to add our we're going to make our road. We're going to just call this road. Oops. Road. And we're going to add a mesh instance to that road. We're going to make it a. Uh, make that cube. Then we we're going to resize our cube. We're just going to call it. Like I said, I'm not trying to do anything fancy. I'm just trying to show you the basics here. And then. We're just going to add a material so you can see the road a little better. Let's see. Uh, spatial. Hmm. Hmm. Let's make this. Let's let's make it gray. There you go. All right. So and then we're going to uh, road TSCN. That's good enough. And we're going to make this road our our main room here, our main scene here. So we're going to go to project settings. Range run. Um, let's see. Road. Tscn. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach a script to this player here. So we'll click on a uh, player, the the kinematic body, and gonna click on scripts. New script. Uh, player. Gd. That's good enough. So I'm going to delete all this stuff in here and paste in some code that I wrote before this tutorial. And I wrote this code before this tutorial just to save some time. And you can feel free to stop this video and read the comments. And um, and after this, I'm going to show you what the code looks like without the comments, because the comments can make this code look kind of long. So. Okay, so let's uh, let's review what what some of these things do in this code. Here, I I took this the bullet the bullet that we created right here, and I I, I preloaded it and attached it to this uh, fireball variable here. Um, so th this file is attached to this variable here, and then I created a bullet count variable, a bullet reload timer. Which is which has to do with this uh, this part right here that's inside of this this function 
process delta part. And this process delta part has to do with the movement of the bullet and, and player and all that stuff. Okay, so what I did was um, I, made, I made it so that you can only shoot three bullets at a time. And after 100 uh, seconds or after the counter, this bullet reload timer gets up to 100, it brings your bullet count down to zero where you can shoot three more bullets. You can't shoot any more bullets until this timer goes back up to 100 and this bullet count goes back to zero. So that's just a, uh, we're not, that's just a number one save some memory and make it so your game won't slow down okay so next thing this funk unhandle input events and with the shooting part uh, we, we got to set that up so we let's go to the project manager project settings input map and we're gonna put in shooting here we'll add and plus key a okay so we got that and so what this means is if you press the a button and you have less than three bullets on screen then it will allow you to uh to fire the the bullet or create a bullet instance and then um it'll increment this your bullet count until it gets to three and when it gets to three you won't be able to fire any fire any more bullets that is until your bullet reload timer reaches 100, which will, again, reset your bullet count back to zero. And then you can fire some more bullets. And this fire.start position, well, this part right here, it, it gets this node right here, position 3D node. And, and all this does is it makes it so that whenever you shoot a bullet, that bullet will belong to the room instead of the player so that when you shoot your gun your bullet won't follow the player and create a weird effect and get parent the parent again is the player and the and we attach the uh the the, the bullet to the player so that uh, when you press the a button uh the the bullet will fire from the player Backing up, this is actually what the code looks like when when I tick out all the comments. You can, as you can see, there's not really that much code here. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the go back to the bullet, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a timer to this bullet. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna uh, go to timer. And then okay, and then uh, we we added this timer so that our code would, would work better. Okay, so now now we got our timer. So now I'm gonna attach a code to this bullet here. So we're gonna go down to bullet new script uh, bullet .gd. That's good enough. And then um then I'm gonna paste in this code once again. And like I said, feel free to uh, stop the video, read the comments, and I'm gonna show you what this code looks like without the comments. So first thing we have is something having to do with the bullet speed that's what these two variables had to do uh, right here and then we attach this timer this timer here to this uh, this lowercase timer variable here that is we, we attach this node this time this timer node we got this timer node here and we attached it to this variable here and all, all on ready means is uh, it, it just make make sure that everything in this ready function here is set up before anything executes. And so down here, this says that after we fire the bullet, it it have one second before it disappears. Quay free means uh, to destroy the bullet, or so after one second, the bullet will self destruct. Or disappear and then timer dot start well let's go back to our, our player script um, this player script right here here's our player script and it, all, all it has to do it this just has to do with 
initializing where the bullet will start when the when it's fired. And well, we, we have it set up so it'll fire from the player. And then these next two functions, the func start, x form, and func process delta, these have to do with the uh, the bullet movement, where the bullet will go, which, which in in our case is going to be the z axis, and this bullet speed. This part right here, the func on bullet body entered, that just has to do with whenever the bullet hits anything, the bullet will disappear or destroy itself or whatever you want to call it. Because in you know in in whenever you're developing games that have shooting in it, you always want to destroy your bullet so that it'll free up the computer's memory and so your game won't slow down. Now that we got a script, we can finish setting up this timer here. So click on timer, click on node, timeout, connect, then connect. When you ever see this icon here, it means your timer is set up too. So that's the bullet. Okay, so now I'm just going to delete all of this. And then I'm going to now show you what this code looks like without the comments. As you can see, there's not that much code at all. Now, so let's go back to the, the road. And we're just going to now add in all our, our stuff to this road here. So we're going to add in the player, just the player. We don't need the bullet, right? Because, of course, we have to shoot before the bullet can be seen. We got our player, so let's uh, bring our player up just a little bit. And then maybe we're just going to resize the player just a little bit, too. Let's go. Pull this back. Uh, like I said, we're not trying to do anything fancy here. I'm just trying to show you how to do projectiles. Okay, and then we're going to add a camera. So let's add a camera to this player here. Uh, plus camera. Great. We've got our camera. Let's 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 move it back and move it up. Let's rotate the camera a little bit. Transform. Uh, we're gonna do uh, what's that? One eighty degrees. Okay. Okay. Let's. Uh, okay. Let, I think this might be good. Okay. So let's try that out. Let's let's hit the play button and see what happens. Okay, good. So th this worked out. So we have our player right here, and then I'm press the A button, and good. It's shooting projectiles. And whenever it reached three bullets, I can't shoot anymore. So our projectile worked out fine, and our character is shooting bullets. And as you can see, they're disappearing after one second. Okay, so it's worked out, and that's the end of this tutorial. That's not just good, that's good. So you can take what you learned in this tutorial and expand on it and combine this, this knowledge with whatever else you find on the web uh, about building games in Godot. Take this and make it better. Till next time, peace. Good.